So Helldivers is literally blowing up right now. Everybody's talking about it. And this is one of those games that might actually be, be a sleeper hit. We're going to check out this video. We got how to become a pro Helldiver. Helldivers 2 tips and tricks. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. Because quite frankly, I want to see this game as well. Because everybody's uh, talking about what it. What a game, Whoa. right? I don't know about you guys, but I am crazy about Helldivers. It's a fantastic game. And it has pulled us in. Which is why we're making this video right here. This is essentially a tip guide for those of you that are looking to play hell divers in the most optimal way I i'm gonna be real with you like i really thought that this game was not gonna be received well uh skull and bones ubisoft is saying that's like a quadruple league game <laughs> like four is and hell divers is like blowing up right now and i'm actually happy to see that but I want to see like why it's blowing up. Let's let's hear the plot. Let's see the plot. Possible. These are things that have greatly helped me and after spending many, many hours in the game already. But I'm going to go over some things that will definitely help you on the front end if you're just uh -huh. now starting Helldivers. But also things that are going to help you on the back end. Meaning ways to get to level 20 faster. And also some ways that are really going to help you optimize your Helldiver. So without further ado, guys, these are your tips on how to become a proper Helldiver. I'm going to start with some of these that are a little basic, but they make a huge difference. One of them being the fact that you can change your weapon weapons rounds per minute we actually mentioned this in our review and there were so many people that were surprised that this honestly the ui is not that bad i always hate it whenever like the ui is so like clunky and it's like everything is all over the place and there's like million different things on the on the screen hint hint black ops 4 back in the days also suicide squad recently so this hud is not that bad although like the menu that he showed initially i didn't like it that much but we'll we'll, we'll see this was even a feature but if you hold reload on certain weapons it will bring up a customization menu for machine guns you could change your rounds per minute for your pistol you can turn on and off a flashlight assault rifles can change the zoom or the firing mode as well as the flashlight although keep in mind the explosive assault rifle cannot adjust zoom. The laser mm. cannon can check overheating levels. The marksman rifle can also change zoom. Your SMG can adjust from... It has that Battlefield 2042 like uh, system, which which was actually very, very good in Battlefield 2042, minus the game. The game didn't turn out to be like how the fans wanted, so that's why it kind of flopped in the beginning, but uh, I like that system. Actually. Auto to semi -auto. Now, in the same thread, you also have a pinging system. You can hold and press R1 on the PlayStation 5 or Q on PC. You can ping locations, enemies, all that good stuff. But if you hold down this button, you can actually call out instructions if you don't want to use your mic. Now, in the same thread, you can also drop items. For instance, if you're about to run into enemy territory and activate a hell bomb, the last thing you want to do is bring all those samples with you and then die. Granted, I wouldn't spend too much time in my inventory dropping things, but if you don't want to risk it, especially when it gets to things like those pink samples, which are extremely rare, which we're going to be talking about in just a moment, you can mm -hmm. drop those or anything else from your back pack for other players to pick up on to our next tip armor passives how how you guys feeling about this game so far like if you if you're currently playing the game i want to know what's your rating like do you recommend it do you recommend getting this game or do you not recommend this game because like listen a lot of people are saying it's a very dang good game so when a lot of people start saying it it doesn't mean like it's a masterpiece but it's like obviously i mean there's something happening right Fellas, your armor has passive buffs. And you can view these buffs on the armor you already own by using the armory. You can also view the buffs of the armor in the war bonds or in the store by pressing tab on PC or triangle on PlayStation 5. Now, these passive ranges from a lot of different things. For instance, the savior of the free armor set says that you have a 50% chance to not die when taking lethal damage. Which is uh, I mean, dying is bad for health, uh, absolutely. Bruh. So we'll, we'll take the armor 100%. It's huge. It also prevents all damage from bleeding if chest hemorrhages probably wondering cross how do i get that money you pay for the 60 dollars uh, version you've got the marksman armor uh, i mean that's what it comes down to and why every game gotta be like that bro is uh, microtransaction man uh, but at this day in this day and age you, you cannot escape it though but if it's a good game then it's a good game but so far like are you convinced are you not let me know i'm not convinced just yet but we'll see set up which comes with fortify which further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30 percent also provides 50 percent resistance to explosive damage you've okay. got engineering kit which further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30 percent but also increases initial inventory and holding capacity of grenades by plus two and then we got the infiltrator armor sets which comes with the perk scout which states that markers placed on the map will generate radar scans every 
two seconds. It also reduces range at which enemies can detect the wear by 30%. So if you're playing that recon unit that runs in and out, passive like this is really nice. Now, another thing to note is that you have armor ratings, speed ratings, and stamina regeneration. All of this can make a big difference for you. That's actually a very, uh, very good thing. The only thing I hate is that like everything has like a negative. So I'm always like constantly looking at like what's the positive. And if I get the positive, I'll get 500 negative on my speed. That's the, that's the thing I don't like, but I'm glad that they are giving you the stats. That's a W, but man, I, I, there gotta be a skin or there's gotta be an armor. That's all, all always like up uh, positive, right? Like I want to, I want to see that. I want to know that bro. for you guys. And the armor itself is actually split up into three categories, line armor, medium armor, and heavy armor with heavy armor having, of course, more armor rating, but lower speed and substantially yeah. less stamina regeneration. Medium armor being that. Is it, is it me or you guys also feel the same way? That's the part I don't like. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I mean, heavy armor is gonna is not gonna let you move faster. I get, I get that. Makes sense, right? But but still though, like it's one of those things. I want to have like a hundred percent everything. <laughs> There's gotta be at least one armor that that that. You know, you should surely get something like that with like upticks of everything like plus and speed stamina armor 100 at the end of the game when you like finish the game like the game should grant you that middle of the pack and line armor of course having more speed and more stamina regeneration but less armor rating again depending on the L like the video if you agree kind of player you are and what type of activity that you're doing that could actually be the thing that changes what armor you bring in again it's okay. little small things but yes they do make a difference and for my folks wondering cross Damn. is there any other way i can get that armor you got do 50 percent chance not die when taking lethal damage sounds amazing luckily there is on the 10th page of the free pass you can actually get the champion of the people armor which has those same benefits that i just mentioned but boy is that a grind good luck now considering we're on the top okay in a way i like that it's like free and you can grind grind it but like on the 10th page come on now man can a brother get it on the second page or something like that big of armor i do want to talk about how to get super credits extra medals requisition pretty much all the currencies first up super credits are used to unlock the premium pass you can also use super credits to buy things in the store itself and yes there yeah big l big l that's a big l i mean uh, what what are we expecting right like in this day and age every game is gonna have that uh, every game is gonna have that i know this is a tips video so he's going over everything and he's like talking about like how to prioritize or not prioritize but like how to be most efficient in getting stuff and what's the best thing and in terms of currencies is talking about us okay uh, talking to us about that which is which is fair but it's like i mean every game is how every game is gonna have that so there are certain reviews for these items. Now, you can oh, buy snap. super credits or you can actually earn them in the game. That's right, okay. guys. Literally, okay. while you're out and about having... All right. Okay. Well, I didn't see that coming, though. I really did not see that coming. Okay. If you can buy and you can also earn, earning, I mean, earning is better than buying 100, 110%. Like the video if you agree, bro. with your favorite aliens. In the middle of all this, you should 100% oh, like be looting everything you can, if, of course, you have time. But I would definitely try to make time. You see, guys, if you happen to be looking around around the map, you'll probably notice some beams of light. It's a bit easier to notice at night, but these beams of light have currency for you to obtain and sometimes even a weapon for you to use on that mission. Now, I want to mention that currencies are shared across the squad. Somebody picks it up. Don't worry. You'll get it too. Now, there's also containers you can find that you can blow open with a grenade. These always contain Damn. samples, currencies, ammo, all that good stuff. And lastly, you can find doors that require two people to open them. These also have a good amount of currencies within them, but you essentially just want to go interact with one side of the... Yo, I'm a solo player so that's like an l for me how many of you guys play this game solo though but what i was gonna say that like the type of player i am i would be looting like literally everything though like you know what i'm saying like i would be like loot this loot that pick that up so for me it's good that there is a way to earn like the the points and the currency to get like what you want i, I like that i actually like that and uh Okay, that's not half that bad, but come on, man. There's got to be a way for a solo player to open, like, a two-man uh, door as well, man. Out of the door, and a teammate interact with the other side, and it will then open the door. And if you feel like you're getting stuck, just hit the interact button again, guys. You're not stuck. You just got to hit it twice. Now, if you look on your mini-map, which you can access easily by pressing tab, and then I, like, right-click to drag it around, you can then see these diamond icons on the map, which also contains areas that you can loot. Go to those diamonds, guys. Now, the materials that you 
okay. really want to focus above everything else when looting things across the map are samples. Samples are a resource required to purchase ship models, which are the things that upgrade your ship in stratagems. And fellas, they make a big difference. Now, there are three sample rarities, green, orange, and pink, all of which are only found on a planet's surface on or above certain difficulties. You can find green samples at difficulty one and above, orange samples at difficulty four and above, and pink samples at difficulty seven and above. That being suicide and above. Now, you'll notice oh, that when you she... load in, if you hold tab, you can actually see how many resources are on that planet. Now, keep in mind, when it comes to samples, guys, you have to extract these items. If you die with them and someone doesn't pick them up, your squad does not get those back. And when you actually oh. leave, those items won't go with you. It's also very important whoever it is that's holding these samples, they need I, to- I kind of like that, actually, because it makes it a lot more scarce and it makes you, like, uh, uh, make sure that you don't die or don't lose them, right? Okay, no, I like that. I like that. I like that. But it can be a pain and it could be like rage inducing too when you have so much crap that you have built up and you just die or make like a super stupid mistake and then you lose it all. It can be rage inducing that. Uh, but, but other than that, okay, I mean, not bad, not bad. Good aim. To make sure, especially if it's those pink samples, they need to be very, and I mean very conservative with their life. Like in terms of what's most important, you've got, of course, your main mission objective. You've got optional objectives. And then you got samples, which aren't really part of any of this. As soon as I see high rarity samples like pinks dude we're doing the main objective and we're getting the hell out of there especially mm, on difficulty suicide yeah. or high you just don't want to risk losing those samples now how do we find those samples greens are really easy guys they're pretty much everywhere all the same loot sources i just mentioned a second so it's like uh Kind of like, uh, th this is, uh, I know it's not like Starfield, but kind of, kind of like similar, uh, I guess, genre. Can you say that? I guess, maybe? Bruh. It's like third person, you go around killing enemies, looting, and that's kind of like the, the, the main thing about the game, right? I mean, okay, all right, all right second ago you can find and they're also present in a variety of different missions and challenges to destroy to the defend missions to those big long 40 minute missions, missions the orange okay. samples are a bit rare but again like i said a second ago it's that diamond icon that really helps you kind of gravitate toward them but at the same time if you ever see any of these rocks with these orange veins and again this does change planet to planet but on the terminant planet especially if you see one of those rocks with those orange veins normally they have those orange samples around them the same token if you see this same rock but with silver veins pink samples normally are also around them and you'll notice it when you're coming up to it you'll see it like it's very distinct and i know it's hard to pick up on this if you're running from your life but keep an eye out <laughs> for those samples and when you get to those higher difficulties be looking for those veiny rocks it's these samples that become paramount for increasing your overall held divers lethality now next tip guys pick a good safe spot when landing but when you get into higher difficulties and i'm talking suicide and higher let me just be real there is no safe safe place it may yeah. say it's safe and i know when you look yeah it's joel where essentially we get it bro it's like uh <laughs> Is, 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 yeah, 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 this is where you gotta overclock your keyboards or well uh, overclock your 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 controllers but don't cheat though That's not don't cheat though right like those call of duty players out look there. at the map right you'll see danger enemy present when we start playing on like impossible and hell dive difficulty let me just be real guys everywhere you land you're pretty much gonna be oh, in crap. the fight of your life which is why i suggest the mo Yo, that moment actually reminded me of like you know that uh extension mode from call of duty ghost right like the alien mode okay i mean honestly not bad so it's like you're doing objectives looting around you can set up missions killing enemies left and right it's like chaos and fun i, I can see this game being like very fun with friends but everything is kind of fun with friends if you have the right group uh but uh okay i mean it got like good qualities so far where you land you're pretty much going to be in the fight of your life which is why i suggest the moment you land you call in those support items i'm talking drop sentries drop mortars Damn. drop your heavy weapons jump pack whatever you may need drop them babies not necessarily over the strikes because you'll kill your teammates but everything else drop it in because again yeah, on the higher jet, difficulties guys. you will be at war now at the same time watch your jet it's Kind of productive bro. because as soon as you call things in it alerts literally everything to your location but let me just Bruh. be real you're gonna have to find them anyways you might as well call everything in and find it out now on the yeah. earlier difficulties it's definitely possible to pick a safe spot be strategic in your placement do it away from the danger enemy present zones and you'll be just fine now our next step complete the main objective 
I know this sounds pretty obvious, but listen to what I'm saying. Even if it is probably not not uh, that simple, it's like one of those things, right? Like instructions, instructions unclear. Uh, Sean got stuck in toaster. It's like one of those things. Yeah. So make sure you guys pay attention here. Complete the main objective. I know this sounds pretty obvious, but listen to what I'm saying. Even if you complete the main objective, but literally die on the steps of the pelican, and you cannot extract. Don't worry, guys. You will still complete that mission. Now this is very important because at the end oh. of the day. You Hang on. have Hang on. one chance and one chance only to complete this mission. If you do not complete this mission successfully, as in doing the main objective, congratulations, democracy is dead. But no, really, just complete the main objective. Even if everything else goes to shit after that, it's okay. Complete the main objective. Basically, just don't die, guys. Like, just do not die. <laughs> That, that, that's what it comes down to at the end of the day, right? Objective. You'll still get credit toward that mission. No, it won't be high marks, but you'll be able to leave that mission successfully for that zone. Again, uh -huh. every one of these zones uh -huh. has these hexagon missions that you can complete. And when you complete them, they each give you XP, but also medals. And they give mm. you more medals, the more missions you complete in that area. Which takes us to our next tip. Don't jump around the map, guys. Doing one mission here and then one mission there. Complete all the missions, that being those three hexagons in that one zone to get the most medals. Now, in that same vein, you got to do that anyways if you're trying to raise the ranks of the difficulty. Meaning, if you're trying to unlock impossible, you got to complete suicide yeah. on those three missions in that area. And upon doing so Honestly, like, the game is looking kind of alright. I'm still not 100% sold yet. I feel like that I need to see a lot more before I'm, like, uh, uh, able to pull the trigger and buy the game but honestly got good qualities i'm definitely gonna look out check out more i want to know your thoughts click on this video on the screen because man the recent drama with like xbox playstation hell divers yeah phil spencer talked about hell divers he talks about the next gen xbox we got news about the P playstation 6 ps5 pro oh, shit. yay oh, shit. click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there